Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K and tonight we're doing something a little different. We're going to review some breathalyzers. The nice folks at Backtrack sent us some breathalyzers to review. Yes, they did. We have the S80 Pro right here, this case. We've been messing with them all night. Uh, and then you have the... I have the C8 here, which uh, which is much smaller, a little now, bit more pocket size. That one uh, goes to an app. It and does. It'll track your stuff and tell you, and it also tell you how long you have to sober up. Yeah. Based yeah. on your blood alcohol. And content. it will tell you what stage of drunkenness you are currently involved. Yeah. In. What, what, what kind of uh, <laughs> what kind of symptoms you're going to be exposed to? Whether you're stumbling, uh, loss of what was what was the big one? Loss uh, of uh, loss shyness. Of, loss of shyness. Loss of I enjoyed shyness. the loss of shyness part. So this we've is... been we've been using these throughout the night. Uh, tonight we did a live stream. It was great. So this one's more of like a. This is more like a pro one, like a police style yeah. um, breathalyzer, and this one runs 130 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, that one runs about 99 bucks. It is slightly less expensive, and they do have a far cheaper version also, which we don't have here today. Yeah, they have some ranging from 30 all the way up to 130, mm -hmm. 130 140 bucks. So they have lots of different choices uh, for what you need. Now, what are you going to get these for? <laughs> like, let's be real. But we we do a show. And we want to know for a number of reasons. A lot of times we have people staying over, and we have a, we have something called the four hour rule. So if you've been right. drinking all night, you have to sleep on the couch for at least four hours. Yep. Before we let you go, and, and normally, it depends on how much you drink. Also, right. If, if you're still super uh, shitty, most of the time you're going to sleep an extended period of time. So having something like this would be nice. It is they really wake nice. Up, yeah. Check We're gonna, their blood alcohol level. It's going to be really nice having these in the future. Yeah. Also, you know. Uh, if people are too drunk, there's always Uber and stuff like that. Uber yeah. And, yeah. We, we actually have a pretty strong Uber community here in Shepherdsville. Yeah. Uh, Uber's weird about like late night. Yeah. Sort of it thing. Co well, it costs more. It, yeah. it definitely costs more. So, as always, you shouldn't drink and drive. Um, For sure. And even if you think you're okay to drive, you still. Like, should right not. now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to observe the, uh, the four hour rule because I'm a little bit. Uh, I'm a little bit not okay to drive right now. And then after we're done, we'll check with the breathalyzers. Yeah. And see now, if you're... now we can do that. It's peace of mind, everybody. So we're going to uh, see what I blow. It takes about 15 to 30 seconds to yeah, warm up. I'm, I'm going to blow on, on this it. while you're blowing, while you're waiting for that. It's warming up currently. So this is the SA. Let's see what I get. It takes a second. Um, this one yeah. takes two. So I, blow, I blew a point uh, three nine. That's what I blew. I don't know if they could see that, but... That's what I blew, and I haven't drank in an hour or so. Mm. Um, one thing you want to do is if you just finished drinking, you want to wait a little bit before you blow into this. You've got to wait at least th at least 15 to 20 minutes. I'll wait longer, too. The longer you wait, the better, because it takes time for your alcohol to metabolize. Like, radar's here blowing I, up. I still, don't, I still don't know about this. I, I wouldn't drive right now. <laughs> well, I mean, you know yourself, and obviously. You uh, know. It says that I will need three hours and 20 minutes. You are likely experiencing it's stroll slowly scrolling lower inhibitions and impaired reasoning <laughs> that is sort of a description of my life in general uh, um, but yes I will I will agree with that entirely so we're right like I said uh, on a serious note uh, these are great tools for something like that they're also like they're kind of fun like yeah it's 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 entertaining we have them for the show uh, for when doing live streams we're hanging out and stuff but again, they're great tools to see how you know what level you're at, and for your friend or something, or something like yeah, that. But again, if you if you absolutely have to go, you get an Uber. Um, like I said, we observed the the four to six hour nap nap on the couch rule. The nap um, on the couch can be very important. Most people sleep a full eight hours at that point. If you're gonna go <laughs> four, you might as well sleep the whole night, right? Like, uh, it, also, it's really nice. You've got a friend who maybe is a little bit too headstrong. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit too much, like, ah, oh, no, I'm fine to drive right now, man. No, I'm good. Yeah. Instead, you go, all right, you're good. I'm blowing into this. How about you just blow into this for, like, five seconds, and we'll see if you're good. Yeah. Uh, there, are some, uh, there are some tells with these, though, that, uh, that you'll wind up in. You have, to, you have to wait some time, like we said earlier. And, uh, so, yeah, you want to wait some time between, so if you just finish drinking... Like, for instance, if you just took a shot and then you blow into this, it's going to register off the scale. It's going to register point zero, uh, point five zero, yeah, which, which is as high as these go. So you want to wait, like I said, you want to wait uh, some time after you're done drinking. Once you've been done drinking, then you're going to blow and then you're going to get it. And then to make sure you're going to wait 15 additional minutes to blow a second time to make sure that's... Get yourself uh, an average of your score. Yeah, so make sure you get your uh, blood alcohol right. 
Um, again, like I said, this one's cool. Um, this one's a little faster and slow. I think it's slightly easier than that one to use, but not by much. I mean, this one connects I mean, to the app via Bluetooth. These tips on this one are removable. They remove, you can get replacement yep. tips. The, well, the tips on that one are also removable. Yeah. And they're uh, $7 for a pack of tips yeah. on that one. 15 for that one. Yeah. This is uh, this is more like I'm going to st stick this in my pocket, and after a night of drinking, I'm going to make sure I'm okay. That strikes me more as... <laughs> I'm gonna stick this in my glove box and I'm gonna make sure my friends are okay. Yeah, and this is like for me personally having my friends over This is something I like to have again, you know, hey, you're too drunk. You need to get an uber, you know or, Yeah, you know, here's you need the to, proof. You need to sleep on the couch for four hours. You wake up blow. Yeah, All blow right. it again. Do it. Do it again Yeah, and you know seven dollars for a couple of tips is not too bad. Yeah, uh, it, it's been working pretty good. I mean, we ran it through some. I mean, we used it all night. We used it a ton. Yes, we did. Every time we got done with the review, we did another uh, another test uh, with all three of us. Comes with actual Duracells too, which is oh, I didn't know those nice. came with the unit. Yeah, so this this guy takes one AAA, which is mm -hmm. nice, and it's it's light, like I said, compact, easy to go. Yeah. Um, this other guy right here, I say it's a bigger one, but it's you know it's like a it's almost like a police grade one. And like I said, it works pretty good. It actually you hear like an like audible click. Yeah, there's something there's blowing. something mechanical inside the unit that goes kathunk when it's done taking your breath sample. And I don't I mean I don't know how these work. I mean I'm not a science man. I'm not a technician of breathalyzers. I don't know. But uh, they're cool tools if you have the money. And like I said, they do have keychain ones. But from what I read, uh, these guys, the bigger guys, work a little bit better than the keychain ones. The uh, the keychain ones yeah. do work. But and and realistically, that is. That is pocket sized. There's no right. problem with I mean, carrying that's this with you. Pocket sized, not when you put it in this, but you pull this out and you're like, oh, you got diabetes? Nah, I just gotta see how drunk I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to check myself and all five of my friends. Luckily, I have five tips because that comes with five tips when it ships. Uh, this also is a good indicator. Let's say you had a friend that had too much. Yeah. Um, and let's say he's blowing like a, a, two, a 2 5, 2 6. That's, I need to go to the hospital level. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he yeah. might. He might black out. Yeah, you don't want to be you don't want to be that guy who's just like, nah, you'll be fine, dude. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So that it's a, it's a good tool <laughs> for that. But like, let's be real. Again, we've mentioned it before on the show. Shouldn't drink and drive. Um, you know, this isn't necessarily a definitive tool. Like, yeah. I wouldn't spend all night drinking and then blowing it. I still I still go by the nap rule. Yeah, the nap rule is very important then, for then us. And blow. Um, but I like it overall. This like, is I enjoyed nice... using it. Once we figured it out, it took us a minute to get. To figure it out and how it works and and it's really kind of it kind of kind of fun uh I, I feel bad saying this but it's kind of fun to see how you measure up against everyone else yeah it is <laughs> how's your blood alcohol content how many shots have you like, had tonight radar we got about three or four videos in and i was like let's uh let's measure everybody real quick find out how good we are because <laughs> we had to do a battery change let's see who's and got that the bigger took, the bigger tolerance the bigger tolerance which yeah. turned out to be me um, I was at point oh seven, uh, point zero zero seven. If you remember, I never went past. Uh, I never went. That's past that's true. You you plateaued. I never went past oh, uh, point oh five. I never got past the legal limit. You you plateaued right there. It was yeah. really weird. But anyways, we've had a ton of fun using these. Um, uh, it's, here's, do we recommend them? Here's the question. I recommend this one. Realistically, uh, this this is. It's not. It doesn't strike me as being as accurate as that one because. It's off by like point uh, zero zero five or six. Uh, I don't think they, whenever you they use registered it, mostly. I think it was within point one or within point one or two. They were registering with each other. Point um, zero zero one. Yeah, point. It was point. You know what I mean. Point <laughs> zero zero one or two. They were very that. close. They were both very, very close. close. Um, but um, I think that had to do with the time between them too. Mm, could so have again, been. Yeah. You're not double fisting at the same. You're not blowing the same breath. <laughs> And so there's always going to be factors yeah. in what's going to happen in that. So I thought it was a, a, a pretty good product, though. And like I said, they do have cheaper ones. They do have models like this that do not connect to your phone. So they're a little bit cheaper, but it's the exact same design if you don't need yeah. the phone. Th and the phone thing is cool to track it. But, yeah, again, I, haven't, I used it for a little bit, but it's easier just to use it without the, the phone adapter. It's very, uh, it's very discreet size and shape. Yeah. I mean, it looks like a, a you know a box a of tamagotchi, tic, box of Tic Tacs or something. Looks like a tamagotchi. Yeah, 
You could put it in the tic-tac container and be like, you probably could. <laughs> <laughs> Cut a hole in the bottom. Blah, 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 yeah, blah. yeah. This is just me freshening up. Blowing in the tic-tac container for, <laughs> for about five seconds. Uh, but yeah, I recommend it. We're not going to give a number rating because it's kind of weird to give something yeah, like this a number yeah, rating. Yeah, it would be a little bit difficult. Also, they, they were sent to us. Yeah, so they were sent to the show. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go say, I'm going to say recommend them. But again, um, depending on what you're using it for, you probably won't need something this high end unless you are you have a lot of parties. Probably not, um, yeah. Something like this would be more up your alley. And like I said, they have the, the smaller versions of this that don't cost, you know, 100 bucks. But I definitely recommend any of the any of the ones on here. Uh, yeah. their website. Uh, they're pretty cool. It's a it's a really cool product. We've been talking about getting a breathalyzer forever. Yeah, on the show. It's been uh, something we've wanted on the show for a while. Uh, just like I said, just kind of for fun and just for, you know, safety. Yeah. Yeah. I like both of these things. Yeah. All right, well, that's our episode. <laughs> if you'd like to see anything else on the channel like this, you can leave comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. And I'm Radar.